Today is the November the 1st and this marks a new month obviously and I'm thinking of doing a challenge which was suggested uh, to me by another artist um, and this challenge is to draw a finished illustration every day um, but these illustrations will either be t-shirt designs or a piece of artwork that I can sell direct to either you know them t-shirt companies or you know that are out there um, or I can maybe sell the design to um, some metal bands or you know things like that so it's a challenge anyway and I'm trying to go one step up against that Inktober uh, thing that I finished yesterday and just try and uh, do some finished artwork for a change so I've got some white card with 30 sheets um, yeah one a day so I'm thinking of something something horror-y as always <laughs> with skulls and whatever else so since I'll be doing these every day these will be sort of like daily art vlogs anyway where I draw something and you'll see the finished you know absolute finished product right at the end of the day um, I was thinking for this one to be an actual skull a screaming skull something that I can uh, always you know count on drawing really And just quickly sketching the eyes. Do that bottom jaw slightly larger actually. The cheekbones. Give it vampire teeth. Yeah. So with these videos I might, you know, do some longer videos like this and maybe some time lapses in between. Just mix it up a bit. You'll see the progress and the finished design right at the end. So right now I'm just sketching the overall design. And I can't really just draw like one single item like a skull or something. I've got to draw, maybe add like elements to it and you know stuff that'll just stand out and make it look cool so yeah don't exactly know what I'm gonna draw sketch on this therein lies the challenge you see draw the eyeballs yeah I said that the bottom jaw is a bit lower and I've sketched it there so I'll just add that in there and then get the teeth there like rotten flesh that I can try and uh, sketch and maybe ink it later on who knows well yeah of course I will be inking it later on <laughs> so yeah 
I don't know. Anyway. So I'm thinking some other elements that I could add around, you know, the side, maybe like <clears throat> blood splatters or a mixture of blood splatters and maybe cobwebs. Um, particularly in like t-shirt design um, a lot of um, companies like the like a, a set illustration like you know like full bit like that but then they like it in like elements maybe like the skull as one element and then maybe the logo separate where they can place it themselves or they can colour it themselves something like that so it's it takes a bit of sort of thinking to try and get some sort of design that uh, might might sell. I think I've got to sort of put myself in the sort of customer's shoe or shoes, not just one shoe, unless they've only got one foot. Then, <laughs> then that's uh, yeah, that's that. Ah oh dear, dear oh dear, right, on with this skull, I don't know, since I've drawn that there, I don't, could that be like a hole and you can see the brain, hmm, an idea, and all this is just dripping down the face, blood, yeah, it's an idea, To drawing a brain again, I just draw the little squiggles. <laughs> as long as it looks like a brain, I'm not bothered. There's going to be cracks on the on the skull as well. Lots of cracks. Yeah. I think I'm going to start adding some ink, but I'm still thinking about a bit of the background. I just don't know yet, but we'll try and make this look good. So the darker areas are going to be the eyes. Because the eye socket's there. And then the nose socket there. And then in the mouth, actually that tongue looks a bit ridiculous. And start just to darken everything up now. Uh, I'm going to try and be a bit more neater with this um, because it needs to be uh, a finished looking illustration by the end. Um, so yeah. Get them eyeballs looking. Fairly sort of even. Maybe I'll do a bit of shadow, which is the black and on the top of the eyes. Then I might just switch to greys later on in the colouring stage. Yeah, I add a bit more. 
I'll turn to it. So yeah, this first video is going to be like quite a long video just to start this series off. Um, it's almost like a death metal skull, something. That's what I'm trying to aim for. But we'll see how things go. teeth all linked yeah so as I said this this video will be the longest uh, video just to start this series off and others may just become like time lapses and then you know showing like glimpses of and the artwork being produced and stuff like that but I'll always show you the end result of the drawing in this series and uh, quite a lot of the drawing process as well whether that'll be like a time lapse or something like that already it's a challenge to try and draw quite neat because I'm used to sketching stuff in really quick so I'm going to just work out a lot of this fleshy looking stuff on the side here Maybe try and look, make these skulls sort of like look um, a bit old and a bit shriveled as well. I think that's what they saw this flesh just sort of suggests. So the bottom jaw just try and work out other areas of this skull. bits on the eyeballs There's the bits around the outside the iris is it called something like that the inked areas I want uh, to be quite dark because uh, when I try and colour this there's going to be a lot of blending between the darkness and particularly on these eye sockets there 
and in between there as well there's going to be blending with some greys and things like that it's going to be a quite long process and I don't think I can keep up with the series just from me talking all the way through because um, that'll just get boring that's why we'll be doing time-lapse videos who knows I may, I may time-lapse a bit of this I can maybe do some time lapses where I talk over it, you know, the narrate what I'm doing and stuff like that. Because while I'm doing it, I'm, you know, doing the drawings. I don't really have much to say. <laughs> so maybe if I sit down and watch it through, then I'll know what to talk about. You know, I'll probably do that in some videos, but not everyone. Just, I'd like to mix it up a bit and not do the same thing in every video um, sort of the same way so still go for that brit, you know, brain thing in the head and then there's the hole in the skull jagged edges the skull just make it look like um, for some reason it's got a hole in its head <laughs> don't know why We're getting there, we're getting there with the shape of things. Maybe the eyes need a bit more wrinkling. center needs to be totally dark I want more cross hatching and just more shadow going on in this to make it more of a darker looking skull. to colouring I can add tone and other stuff
So I'm being a bit quiet. <laughs> I think I will do a time lapse soon and let me time lapse the rest of this. <coughs> Just it's sort of like wrestling with uh, the thought of doing time lapses and stuff like that in the past and now I just do them whenever I want really it's just uh, sometimes I get impatient about drawings and things uh, I'm not getting impatient now but I think that's why I should stick with drawings and you know try and finish stuff like I've always said but that's the whole reason behind this month long challenge to finish one piece of artwork at least um, even though I won't be doing just this one piece uh, within the day really I'm working on some other things as well but try and dedicate the time to finish at least one artwork Yeah, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a time lapse anyway. Speed things up a bit.
So I think I've finished there on this design. Um, I think I can go on and do a bit more, but um, for now, this design is sort of finished, complete, but I can do some little tweaks here and there, like maybe online, um, digitally, uh, just, you know, bring out some uh, colours and hues and stuff. I do like the webs and stuff on there that I've done and things. I can do a bit more with the teeth, but yeah, for now, this is quite good. Um, I can see that on a t-shirt. Uh, maybe make a bit more of the lightning on the top of the head and maybe attach some little electrodes to the brain and do a bit more with the brain as well. So it ain't quite finished, but ah well, it's a sketch. And yeah, and I said I'd uh, do like finished drawings for this series, but it's as finished as it can be at the moment. Um, otherwise, I'll be just going on and on and on and um, just trying to. Um, add little bits here and there and, and stuff so I'm just going to leave that there and maybe do a, bit, a few more bits later on off camera uh, yeah so I'll see you in the next video cheers now